Okay, so now I want to talk about a standing postural correction uh, for patients with scoliosis. All right, it's very important not just to get a front and back profile uh, as evenly as possible, um, but a side to side profile as well. All right, because you don't, your body doesn't know what you don't know. So when you've been kind of stuck like this for about you know, 10, 20 years, you, know, you think that is the new normal. But essentially, we want to practice getting our rib cage stacked over the pelvis in a better alignment so your muscles will then be able to kind of get more integrated uh, with a couple of, uh, of other corrective exercises to allow them to work optimally. So I'll review different types of curvature and how you can easily just practice um, stacking your rib cage over your pelvis. So if you're standing in line at the grocery store, um, if you're uh, picking items up off the ground, or, um, or even uh, not necessarily when you're walking, uh, just because that's more of a dynamic movement, but you want to really pay attention uh, in, in those more static positions of kind of how you're holding yourself. So with somebody with a right thoracic curvature, uh, where their right uh, rib cage pulls them over to the right and you're rotated back, okay, one of the easiest things you can do is just take your rib cage, you might feel more of the weight over the right foot, is just shift up into the left, okay, so you feel more centered or even putting more weight through the left leg. Now, you're not going over like this and just side bending down, but you're necessarily going up, elongating up over into the, that left hemisphere uh, so you can get your hips underneath the rib cage. Now, another way of doing it, you can get up and over, but also you want to, to allow you to stay there, you want to get your left hip to kind of activate a little bit and you can pull it inward and you can feel the inner muscle thigh pull that pelvis to meet the rib cage. So you want to keep that left leg active while you're integrating the rib cage over the pelvis. And you want to practice stabilizing in that position before you do any type of squats, hip hinges, deadlifts, step ups, lunges. You don't want to kind of do your squats like here you want to do your standing postural correction first, getting that left leg integrated, and then go into um, more of those functional movement positions. Okay, then what we want to try, we want to go if we have a left lumbar curvature, your body's going to be pulled more to the left side of your body. You might feel weight more through the right leg or left leg, but essentially we want to have you then um, take your rib cage up and over the pelvis, but now integrating the right hip, pulling the right hip, meeting the rib cage with your pelvis, integrating the two, okay? When you have a lumbar curvature uh, that's a little larger than your thoracic, you have a mismatch between the way that your lumbar curvature is rotated on the pelvis. So we, we really want to create a little bit of harmony between the two. So if you're pulled a little bit more to the left, okay, bring your, your lower half and your rib cage up and to the left, as that right hip and that right pelvis kind of pull up underneath and stabilizing each other, really keeping that right leg fairly activated like it's pushing you into that harmonious position between your upper trunk and your lower trunk, all right? So now, the biggest thing that uh, we just talked about was really getting your rib cage stacked over your pelvis and keeping it that way before you do functional movements. All right, now the other um, aspect to think about is the front to back view. With scoliosis, you are living in a little bit of extension all the time just because of the way that those vertebrae have morphed into. So essentially, it's almost like you're falling forward a little bit, like you're extending up. Okay, our rib cages could be flared, some people will be sitting back, but essentially, you have this amount of extension that we really want to get out to. So a lot of people will initially feel their weight through their toes or feel like they're falling forward. Okay, that's no way to live. Okay, we want to be grounded through our heels. If you think of MMA fighters that kind of sit through the heels and kind of punch and jab, right? That's where you're getting your ground. If you're kind of on your tiptoes, you're going to get pushed over. You're not going to have that stability. All right, so we want to be grounded through our heels as well. So if you're falling forward, just take a, um, a, a hand right on the sternum Exhale your air and let your upper back come back in between your shoulder blades, like your shoulder blades are going out to the side, letting your rib cage come back in between them. 
okay? And that will allow you to get your rib cage in a downward position and get it stacked over your pelvis from a front to back, um, front to back area. All right, so those are just two ways to really think about a standing correction that's very simple if you really have a postural deviation, uh, especially when you're trying to do some functional movements where you're really just inherently loading one side of the body or another. It just, it does not allow your tissues to work as optimally as possible and could cause some overloading and pain syndromes on that area more of compression or the other side that's really trying to compensate for that amount of pull. Um, that it's trying to uh, trying to compensate for. All right, but I hope this was helpful. In summary, the two ways to really uh, make a standing correction is if you have a right thoracic curvature, getting your rib cage stacked over your pelvis, bringing the rib cage, pulling the left hip. If you have a lower left lumbar curvature, you want to get your upper trunk over and pull that right hip in. Okay, so have the two match. Then from a front to back view, if you feel like you're falling forward on your toes, you want to take a um, a finger to the sternum, pull back, breathe out, let your rib cage come down, don't slump, just pulling back, staying tall, drawing the rib cage back as your shoulder blades come out, <coughs> shoulder blades come out of the thoracic area. Thanks for your time.